G'day YouTube, 1MJ here. Welcome back to my channel. So, Cointelegraph, Bitcoin soars to 11,400. And currently it's trading a little bit higher depending on which uh, market you're looking at. But it says here that Bitcoin price continues to test the $11,400 level. Leading top crypto analysis uh, believe a rally to 12,000 could occur soon. I think it might go higher than 12,000. I think 12,000 uh, is a little bit low and we'll look into that soon. But basically it goes on to say here that the price of Bitcoin surpassed 11,400 for the third time in three days. So basically every day we're having a crack at it. Haven't really breached it too much, uh, but it might be uh, a little bit of resistance, but it could also be some support. So we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, breaching the critical resistance, uh, level earlier today beach uh beach coin <laughs> sorry bitcoin uh it reached 11.44 but quickly rejected uh and went back to the 11,250 dollar range now we're trading above that uh as we speak again depending on which uh, market you look at uh so basically what they're saying is surprisingly within the last hour the price has again risen above the 11,400 dollar mark again and some traders believe that repeated retests of the resistance could raise the chances of a breakout and uh, I would agree, I think that's what it's gonna do. It's uh, gonna bounce off it a few times uh, and then it'll stop being resistance uh, and it'll likely be support. Now we still have that CME gap at, uh, what was it, 9,600 to 9,800. That may not get filled. Look, most of the time they do, but what I have thought is maybe that 9,600 to $800 level that could be the cycle low after the next bull run, maybe. Who knows? But maybe, again, we just skip past it. I think there's a CME gap at around about $11,800. So that one hasn't been filled yet, so maybe we get to there and fill that one as opposed to going down. But we'll have to wait and see. We go over here, and even on the Australian news, so Nine News are talking about Bitcoin uh, and how it's uh, surging at the moment, uh, and Australians are starting to basically buy it up. Now, they did go on to say that if you invested $1 in Bitcoin nine years ago and simply held on to it through all the uh, bull runs uh, and bear markets, you would have $1,113 today. Now, that's in Australian money, so US would be uh, a little bit lower. But that's not bad. Put $1 in and $9, sorry, nine years later, you got 1000 So imagine you put in, you know, maybe $500 or $1,000. Uh, imagine how much you'd have now. But they also go on to say that adoption is really starting to grow. And people, uh, particularly in Australia, you know, they're concerned with what's happening to the dollar all over the world and the political ties that the dollar has uh, and how it... Uh, it doesn't work in uh, the best interests of its uh, citizens and investors at times. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't ever, but they are definitely worried about it. And further on, they go to say that uh, now Australians, they're able to buy Bitcoin through our local post office. Uh, and our local post offices, obviously, is where we go to uh, do our post and that, but we go there to pay bills and things like that as well. Uh, that's the realm that our post offices have mo moved into, and now you can buy Bitcoin. So adoption is slowly but surely starting to grow, uh, particularly in Australia. Uh, it's getting easier and easier to buy it. And once we get that real big retail push from uh, cryptocurrency, and particularly Bitcoin, uh, the prices of where this could go to are astronomical. But, you know, as I say, Rome wasn't built in a day. It's all slowly but surely happening. Now we go over to here and, and the Daily Hoddle and they're talking about uh, there's a guy on Twitter and he called the crash of Bitcoin last time and said he expected it to go down to around about sort of $4,000. And I think it got down to $3,200, something like that. So he wasn't too far off. And his, his name, well, his Twitter name is Capo. So if you want to go on there, but at the moment... He told his followers that he uh, is extremely bullish on XRP, EOS, uh, and Ethereum should Bitcoin, Bitcoin, geez, I'm struggling with the names today, Bitcoin, should it hold that $10,500 level? Well, we've pushed past that $10,500 level, but you know how long we can hold it for is what we'll have to wait and see. It is kind of Friday today uh, in the States. It's Saturday here in Australia. So we could see a bit of a sell-off at the moment. Uh, again, Bitcoin's pushed up, 
Uh, and we'll have to wait and see whether it can hold it over that weekend and whether this will be a weekend where Bitcoin continues to you know, push on through or it does what it does quite often on weekends and has a bit of a retracement. We'll have to wait and see. But again, so he's really uh, bullish on Ethereum, XRP and EOS. Now EOS uh, has been really quiet for a long time and it's had its uh, issues about around governance and things like that. So I haven't really heard too much about people being bullish on EOS for quite some time now. Still plenty of people bullish on Ethereum and Ethereum's pushing to new all-time highs. I think it's at 353, 355 US dollars at the moment. And XRP, I think it's up around 24, 25 cents. So they're, they're already starting to push EOS. Um, I'm sure it's gone up. Pretty much everything's going up at the moment, but I really haven't heard too much about EOS. So I'll have to keep my ear down, uh, ear to the ground and see what I can find out about EOS. Now, we go over here and it's uh, talking about Bitcoin charts. So again, this is that typical wedge pattern that everyone's been talking about and the breakout has occurred over here. Now, it's interesting, you know, that last uh, article before was saying they believe $12,000 would be the next level uh, to sort of watch out for. Uh, I'm going to go on to uh, show you the charts right now. I think it's actually above 12000 So we jump over to the Bitcoin chart and it's that same wedging pattern. It's been doing it, but now we've broke out over here. And I've got a couple of levels that I'm looking at. So if we can't hold uh, this uh, sort of $11,500 level, and as you can see, we're pushing up, we have broken out of that sort of $11,200 range that we we're at for a moment. Now we're going to 11.5, but again, it's Friday. Uh, there could be a little bit of a pump up and then a sell off. We'll have to wait and see. If we can't hold it, I am thinking that we'll probably drop back down to around the $10,500 level, but completely possible we come back down uh, to the $9,600-$700 level where that CMA, CME gap is. We'll have to wait and see. But what I put in here is this. This is where I see uh, us going for. If we can just keep passing that $11,500 level, we're actually seeing us going to around about here. So this is about 12 and a half thousand. You can see that there's been a lot of uh, resistance uh, at 12,500. We've bounced off it here. We nearly got up to it here. We uh, just split through it uh, twice over here. Uh, it was resistance over here. And so now we're going back up to it. So I actually, I'm looking at that $12,500 level thereabouts as we're, uh, as the area that I expect us to go to fairly quickly. I, I, if we continue to climb, I'm seeing us doing that by the sort of the end of next week. I wouldn't be surprised. And I'm also thinking if we can break through that $12,500 level, I see us coming to here around about the $14,000 level. This has been an area of sort of support, more resistance than anything, but it was support a couple of times uh, back in 2017, late 2017, early 2018, and it uh, has been a resistance uh, since then. So again, we sort of come over here. I see us going up to this $12,000 mark fairly, $12,500 mark fairly quickly. This is, you know, roughly here. Maybe you could say the $12,000 mark. Again, there's been some sort of resistance and support there on times, but I'm looking more above here, this key sort of level here. So I would say we get to here, and then I, I believe we'll probably have a retracement. But if we get to here and just push on straight through, I'm looking at that $14,000 level. I think we'll definitely get some resistance there. There's gonna be people who got back in, you know, at around about $3,000. And once it hits that kind of, you know, $13,000, $14,000 mark, they've done well, you know what I mean? They've nearly 5X their money and things like that. So uh, I definitely see that as a bit of a resistance factor. But should we be able to break this $14,000 level? We gotta zoom out. Really, the only other bit of sort of uh, resistance or support that we had was around that $17,000 mark. So once we get to that $17,000 mark, I think we'll quickly get up to here, which is 19600 let's say roughly $20,000. Uh, and, and I think we'll have, uh, we'll spend some time around this $20,000 mark is my gut feeling. I'm not sure we'll just blow through it, but look, that's just my personal opinion, not financial advice. Who knows what Bitcoin's going to do? It's just my sort of gut feeling from being in the space for a little while. I think we'll probably test that 20,000 uh, and 
come back from it. I don't think we'll even get to the $19,000, $19,600 mark. I think we'll pull back from that uh, somewhere in between. We'll get close. And again, you know, people have ma- will have made a lot of gains from down here when they're picking it up at $3,000. Uh, and then I think uh, we'll probably get up here We'll come back down here and we'll probably retest this kind of $17,000 mark. Uh, and then I think we'll start to make the big moves outside of this sort of $20,000 range. And once we go outside of that $20,000 range, well, that's when it's confirmed. You know, we are in a new bull run. You know, at the moment we're outside of the trend line. So, you know, you could say we're out of the uh, the declining market. You know, we're out of the bear market. But that's not to say... If we get over here I'll pull this across that we can't get up here and start to fall back down here and then trade up a little bit and fall back down over here and then start to come back up so there's definitely a possibility that we could come back and start to retest this trend line now I don't believe that's going to happen that's not my personal opinion you know we've gone way above the 50-day moving average the 100-day moving average and the 200-day moving average and again the way things are in the world uh, at the moment, a lot of people are scared using the dollar and things like that, uh, and then moving to other assets outside of the dollar, and particularly the US dollar. Uh, and Bitcoin's one of them, and gold's another, and silver's another. You know, precious metals is where a lot of money has been uh, put into. Uh, but Bitcoin, obviously, you know, the uh, gold 2.0 is what they like to call it, the digital version, uh, a lot easier to move around and things like that. So this is uh, looking kind of bullish. Now, when I started this, we were only at around about 11,000, sort of 490, just on 11,500. And we've already gone to nearly $11,600 right now. So it looks like there's a bit of a push. Uh, and if we uh, keep going, again, let's see if we can uh, get to that $12,500 level. That's really where I see more resistance. And if we get to there, I definitely see us having a bit of a pullback uh, and whether we come back and sort of test this uh, bit of support here around the 11.2 or maybe even come back and test uh, this key resistance here at around about, or key level here at 10,500, we'll have to wait and see. But if we go through that 12,500, I think this is where we'll see uh, some heavy resistance at around that kind of $14,000 mark. Thereabouts, you know, give or take a few dollars. Again, I've got $13,000 sort of $800 uh, dollar here on my chart but that's not to say it couldn't be just a fraction lower or a fraction higher anyway that's it from me today i hope you're all doing well stay safe be kind to one another everyone should be on the gains train today oh look there we go eleven thousand six hundred and fifty four so we've already jumped up already now i am looking at the daily chart so obviously uh, the minute charts and uh, 15 minutes would probably be better to see that kind of stuff but we're on a move ladies and gentlemen we're on a move Again, stay safe, be kind to one another. I hope you're making some good gains today and I'll see you next time.